smart civil engineers i am engineer masrur and you are watching engineering network youtube channel i am back with another important topic so in today's video i will teach you about back sight fore sight enter sight and height of instrument so i will explain that how to take back sight fore sight enter sight using level machine and staff rod and also how to calculate height of instrument at road sight okay so today video is very important and please watch it completely so that you can learn all these terms in road survey now before i start this video if you find this video informative then please click on the like button share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos so let's start okay so first let me define all these terms and then i will explain it with the help of an example okay so what is back sight and sometimes it is also called bs so the first reading that is taken at staff rod after setting the instrument is called back sight okay next is the fore sight or fs so the last reading taken at the staff rod at the end of survey line or before shifting the instrument at another position is called fore sight okay next is the enter sight or is now the readings taken between back sight and fore sight is called enter sight next is the height of instrument or hi so the height of instrument or hi means that the height of level machine or total station from the datum line okay so these are the simple definitions of back sight fore sight enter sight and height of instrument now let me take an example and with the help of that example i will show you that what are back sight fore sight enter sight and height of instrument okay so let's assume that this is the survey line or you can say that this is the road survey line right here i have installed the instrument which is the level machine and here i have installed the staff rod okay now the first reading that i will take from the level machine at the staff rod will be considered as the back sight or bs right also sometimes the back sight is taken at the back of level machine as well which is also correct so what is back sight it is the first reading taken at the staff rod after setting the instrument okay now let's say that on this road survey line here i have an obstruction in the form of a road and i cannot see anything behind this road okay so in order to take the remaining reading still the end of this survey line i have to shift the instrument to a position from where i can see the entire survey line right so what i will do here is i will take a final reading right here before the shifting of instrument so the final reading before shifting the instrument is cut for sight okay so if the staff rod is installed right here in front of this rule then the reading on this staff rod will be considered as the for sight okay now in between these two readings which is back sight and for sight the remaining readings is called enter sight right like if i take a reading here here and right here then all these readings is called enter sight now after i shift the instrument and let's say that i have installed it right here okay now what will happen here is again the first reading after shifting the instrument is called the back sight or bs the last reading at the end of this survey line is called fore sight or fs and in between back sight and fore sight all the remaining readings is called enter sight or is right now let me show you what is height of instrument 
and how to calculate HI on site. Now as I told you that HI is the level machine height from the data line. Okay? So what is data line? Well, it is the surface of natural ground near to the benchmark. And it must be lower than the benchmark. Right? Also, sometimes this data line is called the reference line as well. Now let's say that the benchmark is 98 meter and if I install the staff rod at the natural surface near to the benchmark and take a reading which will be the back side because it is the first reading after setting the instrument. Okay? And let's say that the back side is 3 meter. So height of instrument is equal to reduced level or RL plus big side and it is equal to 98 plus 3 and it will become 101 meter. So the height of instrument or HI is equal to 101 meter. Right? Remember that this is just an example and it may be different in your case. I take an example only to make you guys understand that what is height of instrument and how to calculate it on site. So this is how you will calculate HI or height of instrument at site. And this is it for today guys. I hope you would find this video interesting. And if you did, then please like this video. Share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. And also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.